Hi, I'm Director of Athletics, Greg Byrne. As we end an academic year and begin a new fiscal year, we wanted to go over the past year of Arizona athletics in 2011-2012. I thought it'd be important to remind everybody what our goals and principles are as, as we make decisions here at the University of Arizona Athletic Department. Our first one is to graduate our student athletes. It's something that's on the forefront of every discussion that we have within our department. Our second one is to follow the rules. Both the NCAA, the University of Arizona, locally uh, within the state of Arizona and the city of Tucson. The third thing is to make sure that we are first class in how we represent the university. We spend a lot of time on life skills and, and personal development, having speakers come in regularly, to talk to our student athletes, to talk with our coaches as they're out representing our university. At times we fall short, but I promise you day in and day out, we spend a tremendous amount of time focused on that and what we do. The fourth thing is we have to have fiscal integrity. Uh, we, we very much are proud of our uh, fiscal and budgetary history at the University of Arizona. And at the same time too, we have to balance that with the ability to maximize our revenue opportunities so we can continue to move the department forward. And the last thing, if we do those first four things right, our last thing is we compete for championships. We've competed for national championships, Pac-10, Pac-12 championships in almost all of our sports at the U of A. And we wanna make sure we're focused on that moving forward. 2011-2012 has been a very good year for us from a facility standpoint as well. We've made a lot of good progress with a number of our facilities. Certainly one that's getting a lot of attention is what's going on here at Arizona Stadium and what's already been done. Right behind me is the new video board. As you can imagine on game days, uh, there are people that really enjoy the experience that brings it to Arizona Stadium. The one that's getting the most attention that we're working on currently is our new Lowell Stevens football facility. That's going to modernize our football infrastructure that will allow us to have as good a football facility for our day-to-day -day operations as anybody has in the country. It'll be the home for our new locker room, our new weight room, new medical treatment center, equipment room, coach's office, meeting rooms, a club lounge that will be used throughout the year uh, for not only for our fans, but also for our student athletes for special events. On top of that, we're going to have a cafeteria. It will be a, a new facility for us with Arizona Athletics, but it will not only just be for the athletic department, we're gonna open it up as well to the campus. We hope the faculty will come over, the general student body will come over and engage and interact with our student athletes, our coaches on just a, another opportunity to have connectivity between us and the rest of the university. For our fans, it will be a tremendous improvement from a restroom and concession standpoint. We're gonna have individual chair back seats in the north end zone now. On top of that, we're going to have a very wide and large concourse that's going to connect the east and west sides of the stadium, and we're actually overbuilding it just so we'll be, allow more fans to come in there and be able to take part of it on game day. The concessions and restrooms will be new and modern, and we know that's something we have to address for the rest of Arizona Stadium, and this is a tremendous new start to that, but it's also coming with a $72 million price tag for the entire building. So obviously as we move forward and we look at the rest of Arizona Stadium and things that we need to improve with it, I hope our fans will be patient with us as we move forward because it ob obviously requires a lot of infrastructure and a lot of cost that goes along with it. But I want you to know we're going to continue to have plans and ideas to hopefully continue to make progress with the stadium. This past football season was one of the most interesting ones you can have if you're an athletics director. We decided to make a change in leadership with our football program and we were extremely excited when we were able to announce Rich Rodriguez as our new football coach for the University of Arizona. Coach Rodriguez has experience at competing at the highest levels of college football. He understands what it takes from the ground level to build a college football program that is able to compete for championships on both the conference and the national level. He understands the importance of the University of Arizona to put us in a position and to get us to going to Pasadena for the Rose Bowl. As you just saw with Arizona Stadium, uh, the facilities upgrades are ongoing for, for our athletic department. Uh, one of the ones we're most proud of is the move for our baseball program off campus here to High Corbett. It's only two miles from campus, but there's a tremendous amount of history that our community has with this park. Great players that have played here, great teams that have played here over the years, and now it's the home for Arizona baseball. It's led to record attendance numbers for us, it's led to a re-engagement with our community with our baseball program. One of the other great things about being out here at High Corbett as well is the impact that it's having on recruiting. 
there aren't any other schools right now in the country that can say, you know what, if you come to the University of Arizona, you'll get to go play in what was a major league facility just a few years ago. And that separates us from everybody we're competing against. One other thing that has been a tremendous upgrade for us as well is our women's soccer program is now playing under great bright lights that really brings tremendous energy out to our soccer program and it's allowed our community to have a much better uh, experience when they're out there and a much better experience for our student athletes as well. This past year has been a great year from an academic standpoint for us as well. We had 78 of our student athletes graduate in 2012. We had 200 of them have over 3.0 GPA. We had 17 of them have a perfect 4.0 GPA. We met every single NCAA academic requirement as an institution and are very committed to that going forward as well. One of the things we're most proud of is that this past semester and the fall semester, we had the highest GPA we've ever had as an athletics department. And we're on pace potentially for the spring semester to eclipse that mark in the fall. From a community standpoint, we had 417 of our 450 student athletes involved in community service. They accumulated almost 4,000 hours directly involved in our community here in Tucson and throughout the state of Arizona. That interaction not only helps the charities and the schools and the hospitals that they're involved with, but it's great interaction for the student athlete as well so they can continue to develop who they are as a person. We're very pleased about what our compliance office has done from educating and training our student athletes, our coaches, our staff, the community, and the responsibility that each of us have from a compliance standpoint to make sure that the University of Arizona's name is represented for the right reasons throughout the country. It's something that you have to be committed to day in and day out to have success with your compliance from a compliance standpoint on a daily basis. Here we are in Omaha, wrapping up the 2011-2012 competitive year for the Arizona Wildcats. It's been a very good year. We've made a lot of progress. For the third straight year and the third year of its existence, we won the State Farm Territorial Cup. We talk about all the time Arizona's Wildcat country, and we've shown that in the Territorial Cup as well. Guaranteed a top 20 finish for the second straight years in the Learfield Cup. We've had 12 individual student athletes win national championships, plus a relay team win a national championship. We won the first ever Pac-12 championship in men's baseball. We hosted our first regional in men's baseball since 1992. We hosted our first super regional in the history of our program. And for the first time since 1986, Arizona is the national champion. And we're so proud that our baseball team has won its first national championship here in Omaha since 1986 and gotten Arizona baseball back on the national radar as well as having the community of Tucson and the state of Arizona re-embrace our baseball program. We continue to make progress with our men's and women's basketball programs. The recruiting efforts by both Coach Miller and Coach Butts will be paying off in the future with the results on the courts. It was also a wonderful honor for Coach Miller and his dad to be inducted into the Western Pennsylvania Hall of Fame this offseason. In order to have success in athletics, you have to have support from the President's office. Dr. Gene Sander is retiring this year and has been wonderfully supportive of our efforts in our athletics department. And we're excited to welcome Dr. Ann Weaverhart as the next president of the University of Arizona. And I can tell you she's a big fan of Arizona athletics. We also announced the retirement of legendary men's golf coach Rick LaRose who will be retiring after 39 years as a head coach at the University of Arizona. We're very excited to welcome Jim Anderson as the new men's golf coach, and he'll be joining us from Texas A&M and will be a welcome addition to the Wildcat family. We've had many Arizona Wildcats that have qualified for the Olympics that will be representing various countries from around the world, and we're so proud of their efforts to not only represent their country, but to represent the Arizona Wildcats as well. Our goal is to be a top 10 program year in and year out as we represent the university in everything we do. We've made a lot of good strides on that in the last few years. We have a long ways to go. We need to continue to reinvest in our facilities. We have to continue to grow our budget to make sure from a competitive standpoint, we can recruit the way we need to, that we can have the facilities, that we can have the experience for our student athletes in a first class manner that gives us that best opportunity to compete year in and year out and compete for championships. As we strive for progress in the future, we're also very proud of our past. We were represented in the Super Bowl once again. New England Patriots tight end Rob Gronkowski and New York Giants assistant coach 
Tom Quinn were wearing the colors, I'm sure, during the game itself. We had Trevor Hoffman have his jersey retired by the San Diego Padres. What a great honor that was for Trevor and his family. Terry Francona and Rob Waldrop were inducted into their respective Hall of Fames. Terry went into the College Baseball Hall of Fame and Rob went into the College Football Hall of Fame. And we also had nine new inductees into the University of Arizona Hall of Fame. It was a great year for our alums throughout the country and throughout the world. One of the things we have spent a lot of time on is branding the University of Arizona and the Arizona Wildcats. Hopefully you see, anytime you come into the state, the first thing we want you to think about is our university, is our athletic department. That's why we have the billboards that say, welcome to Arizona, this is Wildcat country, as you leave the Tucson airport, outside of the Phoenix airport, as you come in almost every major artery into our state. We're gonna to continue to do that. We want you to think about the Arizona Wildcats 365 days a year. One of the things we are very pleased with is the effort that's been made through the Wildcat movement. We're in the second year of that this year, and our goal by 2013 is to have 12,000 active members of the Wildcat Club. That would be the most of any Pac-12 institution. And the amazing thing about it is just two years ago, we were just about a little over 6,000 members of the Wildcat Club. We talk about all the time that everybody can make a difference and everybody joining at even $100, that helps us out. That helps us continue to move forward, to have the resources to be competitive, to give our student athletes the best experience they can have and allow us to be competitive from a facility standpoint, from a salary standpoint, and a total student athlete experience standpoint, and that's important for us moving forward. We're so proud to be part of the University of Arizona. University of Arizona was the first university in the state of Arizona. The University of Arizona is the land grant institution for the state of Arizona. The University of Arizona is the only AAU institution in our state. The University of Arizona has so many great things going on academically from a research standpoint, from an economic development standpoint, and we're very proud to be part of the University of Arizona. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this to be innovative, fun, informative, and a great way to communicate with you, our fans. We talk to our staff all the time about the, the fact that we're in the service industry. We're here to serve our, our university, we're here to serve our 450 student athletes, and we're here to serve our fans. Those are the three constant things that we have to have. And we want you to know that day in and day out, we're committed to you and the experience that you have, the experience that our student athletes have, the experience that our university has through our athletics department. We're so excited about the future. We have many projects under the way. We have a lot of others that we're quietly working on that you'll hear about in the future. And we want you to know that always, always we'll be ready to bear down to represent the University of Arizona.